So that is one picture that I've uh, taken off pixels and I have a portrait which I took in the past which I'm going to use to merge with which is this one here. So let's put these into GIMP and let you see what we are going to do. Okay, so this is the first portrait. You'll see here I've got it on a separate layer. I put another layer on top which I've adjusted the colouring on to make it a little bit darker, a bit more saturation. You can see in my history tab, I basically added in, I copied the layer, a bit of curve, saturation, exposure and shadow and highlights just to give it a bit of a little bit of a pop there mate. So that one sorted out there yeah. So over here I brought in the image of the cats and you can see the eyes are different colors so that is something we could have done i was thinking of making one green eye and one light light blue but then i've adjusted that i copied it out i made it a little bit different you can see there and then i actually cut out the eyes using the tool i cut the eyes out and you can see here from green to a bit more of a color matching to the model and we took those eyes out and then I resized the image and spinned it slightly just to give us a closer match to the image that we're going to be using I lowered the opacity that still isn't perfect little bit of adjustments will need to be going on there and we can do that now let's just grab that bring it a little bit down down a little down a bit down there might and ooh, okay eyes nose let's just zoom into that little beauty there we need to do is position the nose and the eye and decide how much of the cat shows through and I'm also keeping into account here the ears because what I would like to happen is have one ear popping out of her natural hair then maybe have like a bit of a oh but that hmm that's interesting should I do the left side or should I do the right side what do you think there might I reckon hmm hmm choices 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 okay let's give this a quick rack let's give it a quick rack and see what we think okay what I'll do first is I think left side is gonna be the one yeah I think left side is gonna have to be the one okay so let's just raise that there bring it back to the model let's duplicate that layer so we've got a backup so if we get it wrong we've got something to go back to okay let's just go in for a quick what we think oopsie dies he might make sure you're on the right layer oh look at these beauty there then eh look at this beauty then there Ooh, can we get the lips in there? Yeah, beautiful lips. Shall we keep the shape of the face? Let's go to the little bit of a brush tool there, mate. Let's make that a little bit of a size, a little bit smaller. Continue with this. And we'll keep, we'll keep some of it in just to see what we can actually achieve with this. Let's try that. Should I try the ear or should I not try the ears? Bring it back in. Okay. So that is a bit of a. Hmm. That is a bit of a. Yeah. No. No. A little bit. Let's just give it a bit of a. There it is. There it is. Okay. Now this is obviously for a beginner, so. You may not have the same type of uh, let's go for a little bit of a uh, lower the hardness 
bring the opacity down a little bit and just kind of merge into the forehead right, nice and like kind of a oh, oh, wavy oh, wavy so there's more of now where is it here yeah, let's get the opacity down okay the ear starts about there so i reckon you know what we'll do we'll make it just make it mark that out so i know where i'm going there then we'll come back to that and finish it so let's just opacity up a bit let's grab that over there and then i think once we've done it all we'll readjust the colors and make it a little bit more a tad little bit more interesting if you get my drift mate where did the actual ear end okay just about there so gone a bit too far okay that looks nice and satisfactory there mate what do you think boys and girls shall we get rid of her lips and get the cat lips just as a bit of a okay so we need to find the right balance where we don't go too far with this Righty then. That does not look too bad, maybe. I'm not sure about the white moustache thing, but then again, it's a cat, so you know. I was like, let's get a little bit of the nose merging on. Let's just undo that, bring that in, undo that. That's not a bad. That's not a bad job, there, mate. That's not a bad job. Pat yourself in the back, there, mate. Pat yourself in the back. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get rid of the chin. Should we bring a bit of the neck in as well? Just to kind of allow the... Oh, can we actually bring more of the cat in with the collar, possibly? There we go, so the collar's coming. Let's undo that and let's make that collar a little bit more. But then... There we go. Okay, so I think... We need to balance this out and that is not a bad first attempt is it come on peeps now that isn't a bad first attempt what would you do differently what would you do differently you know what i'll call that i don't do it 10 minutes that was not a bad session i'll give you a thumbnail view when i finish you can see what i end up doing but let's just end this here watch the next video gimp is your alternative you don't need that other photoshop business gimp it up boys and girls gimp it up